Vextech is developing a probabilistic modeling approach for crack propagation in turbine engine components. In order to accomplish the phase one modeling work, engine operating data was needed. Full-scale engine testing is expensive and not practical for a phase one effort. However, Vextech has come up with an innovative approach for acquiring the data through UAV scale testing. This video serves as a summary of experimental testing performed on a scaled turbine engine. Vextech carried out a low cycle fatigue remaining life test after inducing damage on the aft rotor of a single stage small scale engine. A test fixture was created to secure the engine during testing. The engine is readied for simple attaching to the test fixture. A FOD screen over the front of the engine limits undesirables in the inlet. Vextech software provides for fully automated engine startup. The starter spins the engine briefly to give an audible signal that the starting sequence has initiated. The igniter is preheated for 5 seconds without the starter motor running. The starter motor spools the engine up to approximately 3000 RPM. The engine is started by injecting fuel into the igniter. The engine overshoots to 50,000 to 60,000 RPM before dropping down to a stabilized idle speed of 38,000 RPM. The mission is initiated from the same interface. The mission run under the Phase 1 test series was a sawtooth cycle ranging from idle to a full throttle speed of 123,000 RPM at a frequency of one cycle every 10 seconds. The engine run cycle had a 4 second acceleration and 6 second deceleration rate. These rates are comparable to current military engines and are much faster than spin pit cycle times. This allows for over 300 cycles per hour using 2 gallons of fuel. Notice the rotor airfoils glow during acceleration from idle to full throttle. After extended engine running, one half hour of ambient cooling allows for easy engine removal from the test fixture. Three Allen screws remove the rear nozzle, allowing for inspection of the rotor. Preflaws were machined at eight locations around the rim of a 23 bladed rotor. The engine is mounted in a fixture for viewing under an optical microscope. All eight slots around the rim of the rotor activated cracks during phase one testing. Shown here is the crack originating from slot one and its initial observed length of three thousandths of an inch after 382 cycles. Vextech periodically interrupted the testing to observe crack length as shown here. Slot 1 cracking was typical of what was observed with the other slots. This crack propagated to a final observed length of nearly 90 thousandths of an inch prior to becoming critical, resulting in engine failure at 1,180 cycles. A single blade segment of the rotor was liberated from the rim at the location of slot 1 and caused the rotor to shear from the shaft. The rotor was contained within the engine case. Given that full-scale engines cost millions of dollars, testing to failure is rare. However, given that our UAV scale engine costs only a few thousand dollars, testing to failure is practical. Shown here is a superimposed image of all eight slots and the respective cracking emanating from each of them. Clearly, there is a variability in both initiation location, crack path, and crack size. Hence the importance of incorporating probabilistic approaches within crack propagation modeling schemes. In summary, within less than a month, this phase one testing produced a tremendous amount of data which will be used to evaluate and develop initial crack growth modeling techniques.
Given the duration of the follow-on Phase 2 effort, an extensive amount of scaled engine testing with actual Air Force OEM materials is planned. 